understandable, right? So at some point in your life, 42% uh, of adults are going to deal with dizziness. Here to talk a little bit about some of the causes and more importantly, maybe some of the fixes, we've got uh, Dr. Sanders here, the Balance MD. Also, uh, we could call you the Dizzy Doctor as well, I suppose, right? Some people <laughs> refer to me as that. <laughs> it happens from time to time. Well, when uh, people are dealing with dizziness or vertigo, um, I imagine, as we mentioned, it's very common for a lot of people. So we want to look at what some of the causes may be. Sure, there's uh, lots of causes we are now able to recognize when it comes to dealing with dizziness and vertigo. Mm -hmm. And many of them we weren't able to take care of as of 20 years ago. So uh, we've had a lot of developments in our knowledge and our technology that allows us to now cure, in most cases, people who have been suffering with dizziness and vertigo. And, and, and the great thing is about it that we're going to talk about, in all cases, you don't always need a prescription. You don't always need a surgical procedure. That's correct. That's awesome. Okay, so I know that you uh, brought some video with you today, so we're going to take a look at that, and then you can tell us sort of what's going on uh, in the first video. It's going to sure. pop up here. So first we're going to talk about BPPV, mm -hmm. which is a fairly common condition, and it's diagnosed by placing the patient in what we call Dick's Hall Pike position, which is demonstrated there on the video. And what happens with this condition, BPPV, there are crystals inside the inner ear that are normally there, Everyone has them. Oh, okay, that's And horrible. in some cases, they break free. And they then can float into one of the other parts of the inner ear, known as a semicircular canal. Okay. And that's where they cause vertigo, precipitated by laying down, sitting up, rolling over in bed, looking up, or looking down. And the vertigo is brief, usually 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, but it's enough to, I mean, certainly impact your daily life, so it's something that you don't, uh, you don't want to just let it go. Certainly, yeah. Many patients uh, will sleep sitting up on pillows just to avoid it. Oh this video goodness. is demonstrating the crystals being released into what's called the semicircular canal, mm -hmm. and the little white specks you see at the bottom there are the crystals that are now in the semicircular canal where they move around when you change head position and cause vertigo. Okay, and then, um, oh, we see another uh, image here. What is this? So this is a video of a patient's eye using our infrared video goggles. And when we lay the patient's back in hall pike position, we get this nystagmus, we call it, where the eye jerks in a torsional, a rotational sort of motion. And it does that so long as these crystals are moving within the canal. And when the crystals come to a stop, then the eye movement and the vertigo symptoms also come to a stop. Okay, but you got to wait on those crystals to settle in, and that could be a while. Correct. And, okay. So um, you we just little... made kind of a mock-up of a semicircular canal that's in your inner ear. There's okay. three of them on each side, actually. But the crystals most commonly go into what's called the posterior semicircular canal. And so the crystals, when you're walking around during the day, aren't moving much. But when you go to lay down in bed at night... And then there they go. They which is why... fall uh -huh. and create this nystagmus and the vertigo. Well, and once you've determined that, okay, somebody is suffering from uh, BPBV, uh, what do you do from there? There's a special maneuver named after a doctor who figured out how to do it, Dr. Okay. John Epley, and it's called the Epley Maneuver. And it just takes a few minutes to do in the office, and it cures 92% first time around and up to 99% after you do it two or three times. So this is just demonstrating the typical motion that's needed for the Epley Maneuver. Wow. And this is a much faster uh, depiction of how we actually do it. It usually takes three or four minutes, actually. Uh, so, but this is a, a cure for many people. And for a lot of people, um, this affects folks, um, well, I guess at any age, but typically uh, once folks get older, there's more issue with uh, the inner ear and uh, with vertigo. Exactly. It, especially this condition, BPPV, becomes much more common as you get older. All right. And you have two locations. Where can people find you? Well, we're just up the street on Meridian, 91st and Meridian. Okay. And also in Lafayette, uh, just off of State Road 26. Fabulous. And you guys have a website? We do. What is it? It's www.balancemd.net. All right. Fabulous, doctor. Good to see you this morning. And Thank gosh, you. Isn't that neat, Tracy? I mean, actually something that can be cured without having to use drugs. Yeah, or in a matter of minutes, means. in a matter of a few yes. visits, that's I good know, information. It's really cool. Thanks, doctor. Good stuff. Thank you.